In this video, I want to talk about the Russian tactics that have become known as human meat wave attacks. So these are the attacks where Russia tries to overwhelm the Ukrainian defenses by constantly sending more soldiers and basically until uh, the Ukrainians run out of ammunition. So it's an approach where they take huge losses, but I think these attacks are interesting. Uh, not just because they show that Russia has a, a very ruthless way to wage war, but also because there is a deeper meaning to them. So let's talk about it. There are several reasons why Russia uses human meat wave attacks, and some of them are more obvious than others. Uh, the first one is that they work. Uh, they actually do provide results, and uh, we saw that in the spring when Russia took the city of Bakhmut. For months they attacked like this, and they took huge casualties, but eventually they actually did manage to take the city. So these kinds of attacks work if you have enough soldiers and you're willing to take the casualties. Uh, and that, of course, leads to reason number two, which is exactly that Russia does this because they're fine with the casualties. It's not, it's not a huge concern that people die because there is a purpose. And uh, many of the casualties are convicts anyways, uh, so it's not professional soldiers that they're losing like that. So there is this kind of ruthless attitude, and it's just accepted that casualties are a part of war, so it's, it's not a big deal. So those are some of the more obvious reasons. But then I think there's also another important reason for why Russia uses these meat wave attacks, and that is that it shows determination. It is essentially strategic communication. And what the Russians want to show is that it is futile to resist. Because if you're up against an enemy with so strong determination and the resources that Russia has, what can you do? And, and it's not so much communication to Ukraine, but it's more to the West. Uh, Russia has identified that there is some uncertainty in the West right now about the future aid to Ukraine, and they want to influence that. So one way to do that is to show that it is hopeless to help Ukraine, that despite the Ukrainian summer offensive, where the West did provide a lot of weapons, then Russia still has the resources and the determination to go on the offensive. So this is intended to push to that perception in the West that whatever help is given to Ukraine, it's basically wasted. And then the hope is that this will support the arguments of those in the West that want to stop sending weapons to Ukraine. And therefore, it is actually useful for Russia right now to have a large number of casualties because it shows resolve. And, and it shows that Russia is willing to continue the fight no matter what the consequences are. So it demonstrates Russia's commitment to a long war. And in that sense, it also strengthens the arguments of those in the West who say that, well, we might as well go for peace talks now, and a long war will only benefit Russia because they have so much more manpower and they have unlimited capacity for suffering. So in that sense, uh, those human meat wave attacks are also strategic communication. They're designed to provide battlefield success by pushing the front line and taking more territory. But um, at the same time, the brutality of this is an advantage. It's a feature, it's not a bug, because uh, it accentuates the strategic message and it creates a narrative that, Russians, that, that the Russians want. Um, and they believe that this will contribute to reduced support to Ukraine from the West. So that is my interpretation of why Russia is using these human meat wave attacks, uh, what their thought behind it is. Um, now I want to switch gears a bit um, because I actually think the Russians are totally wrong in their strategic messaging here. So, so this also reveals some some of the ways that the uh, that that the Russians are wrong sometimes e about the reading of the West. And what I mean by that is that if you actually follow the debate in the West, then what you see is that the argument against sending more help to Ukraine is not really that Russia is going to win anyways. Uh, it's not so much that it's pointless to help Ukraine because eventually they will lose no matter what we do. That, that is not what people are saying. Uh, that is what the Russians think that the Western debate is about, but it's not. Uh, because actually, the idea in the West that is threatening to undermine the support to Ukraine is the exact opposite. Um, it is the idea that Ukraine has already won. 
uh, that they have achieved everything that it is realistic to hope for. So it's this notion that Ukraine, uh, well, they managed to fend off the initial Russian assault and they have managed to secure their future as an independent country. Uh, but now it's unrealistic that they can take back more territory from Russia. And now then that means that there is now this frozen conflict and both sides just have to accept the current front line as a new geopolitical reality. So that is the idea that is undermining Western support for Ukraine. And that actually means that I think the current Russian offensive and the human meat wave attacks are an, an, an absolute mistake uh, from a Russian strategic communications point of view, uh, because the Russians are achieving the exact opposite of what they were hoping. Uh, instead of reinforcing the impression that Ukraine has already won and that it's pointless to continue the war, they're instead undermining that argument. Uh, they are um, they're, they're recreating that sense of urgency that led to support for Ukraine in the first place uh, because they so clearly demonstrate why it's important to keep helping Ukraine, and what will happen if the Western support disappears. Okay, so those were my thoughts about the human meat wave attacks, uh, both why Russia is doing it, but also why they are so relaxed about the losses and how they believe that there is a valuable strategic message in the way that they are conducting the offensive. Um, and then finally, also that, that this line of thinking also demonstrates how the Russians are sometimes, how they sometimes misread what, what's going on in the West and how they make misguided decisions. Uh, so in this case, they're probably accidents helping to secure more Western support for Ukraine at this critical moment, where, of course, what they wanted to do was the exact opposite. Uh, if you want, if you found the video helpful, uh, please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel and click the uh, bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time.